Visible Solar System for the Commodore 64 wasn't your typical game. It was more like a digital science teacher disguised as a space simulator. When I got this on cartridge as a kid, I thought it would be boring enough to put me in orbit. Instead, it turned out to be a surprisingly engaging cosmic tour, with me at the helm of a spaceship capable of cruising over a billion miles across the solar system. Who needs warp speed when you've got 1982 retro charm? This wasn't about battling aliens or dodging asteroid fields. It was a chilled out exploration of the planets. Starting with Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars and Jupiter, plus Saturn for good measure, you could cruise through the solar system while learning about their orbits, sizes and even how much you'd weigh on each one. The ship's control panel was your best friend, loaded with features for navigating and learning. You could adjust your position, zoom in for close-ups and check out a 3D view of planetary orbits. Want to head straight for Mars? Press G and you're on your way. Curious about planetary alignments? The 3D orbit view had you covered. It wasn't flashy, but it felt like you were getting a front row seat to the universe. Graphics were simple but effective, with spinning planets rendered as colourful spheres moving in tiny orbits. Sure, it looked more like a science fair project than an interstellar blockbuster, but that added to its charm. It was as if someone had taken a classroom solar system model and brought it to life on the C64, and that rotating camera a game changer for the time. You could tilt and zoom to get a sense of what it might feel like to float through space, budget, Hubble vibes included. Now, let's address the elephant in the solar system. Where were Uranus and Neptune? The emission of these outer planets was puzzling. Maybe they were too far away to bother rendering. Or perhaps someone at Development HQ decided, eh, six planets is enough. Whatever the reason, it felt like an incomplete interstellar road trip. You wouldn't drive halfway across the country and skip the Grand Canyon. So why leave two planets out of the mix? The educational aspect was where Visible Solar System truly shined. Your ship's planetary computer provided detailed stats on each planet, including size, rotation, distance from the sun, and year length. It even included the AstroCalc feature, which let you compare planetary data like a space nerd's dream calculator. If you were the kind of kid who loved memorizing random facts, or just liked feeling smarter than your friends, this was perfect. Of course, there was no soundtrack, so I added some chill, ambient music to match the vibe of drifting through space. It's no Star Wars or Star Trek, but the soothing tones create the perfect backdrop for a peaceful mission. Sound effects were minimal, just the occasional beep or click as you navigated the cosmos. It wasn't flashy, but it fit the calm, educational atmosphere. While the experience was more cosmic encyclopedia than video game, it wasn't without its quirks. The C64's graphics gave everything a retro charm, like a digital diorama of the solar system. Each planet was unique enough to distinguish, and the 3D rotation camera added depth to the visuals. You wouldn't confuse it for modern space simulators, but it scratched the itch for visual exploration. For all its simplicity, Visible Solar System had its audience, those curious about space and happy to trade laser battles for learning. If you were into astronomy or just wanted to know what it'd feel like to weigh 500 pounds on Jupiter, it delivered. It's the kind of program that made you feel smarter while sneaking in a bit of fun. Thanks for watching guys, did you play this back in the day? Was it a snooze fest or a spark for your love of the stars? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy revisiting Commodore 64 classics. Together, we'll continue exploring time and space, digging up more retro memories. Until next time, happy stargazing and stay curious. Bye for now.